Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today is a Scrappy Tales hop introducing the new Easter collection that Sabrina has just released. I've already got one video up. You can check that out up in the cards here if you'd like to see that one using the cute, cool little leprechaun pop-up add-on. Today what I'm going to be using is the bunny add-on easter bunny add-on and i don't think i'm going to use the pop-up this time i did use the pop-up on the last card so you can see how that one is put together there um, but i'm also going to use this cool stencil this is the easter egg background four layer stencil so i'm going to be using that that's what i'm going to start off with so i've got my sticky mat from waffle flower actually taken out of my misty on my desk and i'm going to just use it to, actually i'm going to turn it I'm going to use it to hold my stencil in place while I color up these cool eggs. So the, like I said, there are four different ones. The one has the eggs positioned that way. This one, you line it right up, basically fills in the spots that I'm not getting the first time around. And then we've got these two that color up the different Easter eggs in their fun designs. So I'm gonna start off with this one. That's not gonna have a lot of color down there. And I'm just gonna pull out some of my favorite Simon Hurley inks. We've got Remember Me, Slippery When Wet, and bee sting. So I'm gonna start off with my, my remember me. This is one of my favorite colors. So let's take a look. And next I'm gonna put down my other eggs. So I'm gonna kinda of just position them, yeah, right about there. I think that looks good. I'm gonna go over those with the Slippery When Wet. So we're gonna have some yellow eggs. I think I just changed my mind. I'm gonna go with the, the red instead because I think I might also bring out some lunar paste when we, um, when we get to decorating the eggs. So I'm gonna make these these eggs red or pink it just depends on how much ink I put down okay and let's take a look And you could totally use this just as it is. You don't have to go and add the extra decoration, but yeah, I'm gonna. And I'm going to scrape off most of the excess and put it back in my jar because this is too pretty to waste. And that looks fabulous. I am gonna set this to the side though to dry because yeah, I don't want to smush any of that solar paste, I mean any of that lunar paste before when we go on to the next step. So now I'm gonna use a new one. I have not used this yet. This is the new um, Love Struck by Simon Hurley. Um, he's got two new colors out this month and this just looks so lovely. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna use that for the rest of this so it has had time to dry. And just gonna add that over all of those openings. And I can tell <laughs> that my other one was a little bit older. This, this one is a bit thinner 
than the um, bee sting we were just using because I've had that one for a while and I probably need to use it up and get me another one. Anyway, so if you see a difference in consistency, it probably just means that the one you've had for a while has dried out a little bit and you probably need to go ahead and use it up. Okay, getting off some of that excess. And then let's take a look at our eggs. Oh, those are so cute. Okay, I'm gonna set this one off to the side to dry as well and finish cleaning up my stencils. So I went ahead and cut out all the bits Pretty much everything is cut once. I did cut out um, all of the flowers twice because I'm using two different colors of green and I'm not sure what all I'm gonna put on here at the moment. Anyway, um, but I've got basically one of everything cut out. So we're gonna go ahead and start assembling. So we've got our hat and we've got our hat band. That's this piece. So those are the two I'm gonna go ahead and put first. And I'm going to kind of just show you which dies go with which pieces so you'll have a little bit of a better idea when you're putting yours together. This one isn't that difficult, but you know, I have come across some in the past where not necessarily, I, and from any company, it doesn't matter what company the dies are from, but I have come across some where I wasn't sure what does that die do? Anyway, this one is going to be fairly easy and it's good to go. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm not going to use it on one of the boxes. Instead, I used a circle punch, or you could use a circle die to cut out a circle that's going to be <laughs> it's going to be the head for my my little rabbit. Before I get that part out, I'm going to go ahead and just assemble the little hat here and basically all of the little pieces, and then decide what I'm going to do. We've got two dies for the ears. So we've got this one that has an has an ear folded forward. We've got this one that's got uh, our ears popped up. So you can do either or or both. You can have either side be the right side. So I went ahead and cut them both out and I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these. We've got these dot, this die here, you cut out of whatever color you want to be on the inside of your ears. So I'm doing a white bunny with some pink inside the ears. So I'll go ahead and add this bit down Okay, so just put the, we've got our little bunny ear pink part and we're gonna put it right there and all of the dies, they have all got die cut lines to let you know right where the new pieces layer right on top. There we go. So we can do our bunny with two ears popped up or we can do them with these guys. We've got this one that cuts out our little ear and then we've got this bit that's going to be for the pink inlay. So we're going to go ahead and lay those down. And then there's another piece, and this is something that was the same on, um, I think it was on the elf that I did around Christmas time. So we've got this die and it cuts out these little pieces, which is basically the overlay uh, overhang of our bunny ear for when it is going, it's laid down flat. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of foam to that. So I'm just using some thin foam tape that I have from Scotch. This is my favorite foam tape. Price point isn't too bad and it is nice and thin. So you can do, you can do a, a layer or two on here and not have to worry too much about it going through the mail. And just adding that little bit of foam gives the ear just a little bit of dimension. Next, I'm gonna work on our little flowers here. I'm actually gonna do two sets and I may use both of them on the same card, I may not. I don't know, this is just kind of the way that I work. And I think you guys have seen that before. I am very much seat of my pants and I like to experiment and just try out different things and just see what I like. And then eventually I figure out what I want to do. So for this one, I'm using the light blue flower for the center. And I think I'm going to use the dark blue as the other ones because this has three little flowers on this little swag here. And then I'll do the reverse on the other one. 
We've also got a couple of little branches here. So I think what I'm going to do is also use the darker, darker fern for this one, since it has the other color for the leaves. And I'll hold that back up in just a second for you. So this one has two different types of leaves. It's got these that came off. Oh, that's why it came off. Okay, so they have the other thing on there. Anyway, it's got these little leaves here and then it's got these little fern sprigs. So I'm going to put a darker green over the fern on this one and again do the reverse on the other swag. And then I can just pick between the two and see which one I want to use on his hat. I think that's what I'm going to do. That is going to be darling. Okay, so we do have some additional pieces that we die cut out. We've got these and these and these. So this you can tell is the face. So I, this is the little face here. I went ahead and cut it out of some white cardstock and I've got some post-it tape on the back to hold them in place so I can color up any bits that I want to on it. Then we've got these two bits. I did the same thing on this one. So we've got the little nose, got the eyes for this part here the iris of the eyes. Then we've got a couple of little small dots that go into a couple, our flowers and then this bigger piece that goes into that third flower. So I'm going to go ahead and color these because I know what colors I want those. I'm going to do yellow for the center of the flowers and then do, I think I want to do some bright blue for his eyes and give him a little pink nose. And I'm just going to use one of my Spectrum No More markers for each of these colors. So that one didn't really want to stick in well that's totally fine so we've got those done first I'll go ahead and put those in place so I don't lose the bits and I will need to cut out another one to go on my other swag but yeah I didn't do that one yet So now our swag is done and now I just need to color up the other bits. I decided that this um, one that I punched out was not quite big enough for the hat and the ears and all the things. So I went ahead and pulled out um, a die from one of my nested circle die sets. So I've got a bigger one. This one, I, it is two and a half inches. So it's a decent size. It's not huge, but it's a decent size. and. I'm not exactly sure where on the card I'm going to actually position it. I, what I do hate is that it's going to be covering up some of that pretty red, but you know, it's okay. Uh, I'm, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start assembling my bunny. So for his face, I did go ahead and color in the bits. So we've got his mouth here. And so I did that with a black marker. I used some gray for his eyebrows and for his eyes, I just kept them white because we do have those little bits over here that I've colored in in some blue. So let's first off go ahead and add these pieces onto onto the eyes and then I can do the little nose and these pieces will be basically all ready to go onto our our little bunny face when we are ready for them. And leaving it on um, basically leaving it on the the post-it tape is going to make it so that everything stays in place and it's going to make it a little bit easier for me to manage without taking a chance of losing anything, right? And for his nose, I made it a bright, bright pink. For the hat, kind of have decided I want to go with this swag. I really like that one. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of foam behind it too. So I'm going to go with one of the ears being folded over and one of the ears being popped up. So let's see how those need to go on there. Now, if you're using the pop-up box, there's also a little Preferably, uh, there's a little um, embossed line here so you know where to fold it. I'm not needing to do that at this point because I'm doing everything flat instead of doing the pop-up. 
I think that looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and add a little glue to our ears. I'm going to do one at a time just in case I change my mind. So I want the face to pretty much stay in place, so I'm going to use a piece of press and seal to hopefully hold all the bits in place while I remove everything else. Okay, so far so good. There we go. So the face stayed in place. Fabulous. So that's where we're going to put our little face. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of all of the bits. And then I can hold the clear plastic over the face or over the um, white dye that I'm going to be putting all of these on. And let's go right about there. Pressing everything down. You do want to make sure everything has <laughs> a chance to dry before you start lifting this off. Luckily, Barely Arts Glue does dry fairly quickly. So, and now our Easter Bunny has a face. Okay, now we can add his whiskers. So I'll go ahead and pop those out of the die using my pokey tool from Miss Gloria Wolf. I trimmed the panel down just a touch. So we've got that little bit of a white matting border all the way around it. And now we can put our bunny on. I went ahead and put foam on the back of the entire thing. So it's going to pop up the whole bunny. So it's not going to be that thick. We've got a couple of places that are a little bit thicker. But like I said, this is some thin foam tape. So it works out perfect for this. That's also why I didn't add additional foam behind my panel. Because that would have been just a little bit too much. And I think I'm going to put him down flat and straight in the middle. I was going to put him at an angle, but I think he's going to be darling just like this. So that's going to finish up our Easter Bunny card. I think this guy just turned out so super, super cute. You can be sure to check out the rest of the, um, the hop because I know there's going to be more inspiration for you to see all along the way. And check out my playlist here to see some more videos where I'm using Scrappy Tails products. Uh, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more um, crafty goodness from me. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.